Welcome back everyone. This is our third video in the series of calculation of squares. Let's have a look at the things to remember for this method. This method can be used for calculating squares of any numbers from 51 to 75. To do that you need to know the alpha of a number. The alpha of a number x is nothing but x minus 50. For example, the alpha of 56 will be 56 minus 50 or 6 and the alpha of 67 will therefore be 17. Let us look at the method. To calculate the square of a number, let's say 56, we need to add three numbers. The first of which is always 2500. To calculate the remaining two numbers, we need to find the alpha of 56. As explained before, the alpha of 56 will be 6. This 6 will give us the other two numbers. The first of which will be the 100 multiple of 6 that is 600 and the second will be the square of 6 that is 36. Adding all these three numbers will give us 3136 which is the square of 36. Let us try once again. This time our number is 63. To calculate the square of 63, we will again write 2500 as our first number and calculate the alpha of 63. Yes, alpha of 63 is 13 and this 13 will give us the other two numbers. The first of which is 1300 and the second is of course the square that is 169. Adding all of them, we will get our number as 3969 which is the square of 63. Now is the time for the test. Please try on your own. To calculate the square of 72, what was our first number? Yes, you are right. It was 2500. Next step was to calculate the alpha of 72. What was the alpha? Yes, it is 22. The next two numbers will be given to us by 22. The first of which, yes, you got that correctly. It is 2200. And the second will be the square of 22 that is 484. Adding all the three numbers, I will get my square for 72 as 5184. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and like all our videos. Thank you.